So Ruby, what are we, two weeks, 12 days out from the big race at the Curra? How are your preparations going? My preparations, my preparations are probably going easier than the lads, eh? You retired a few months ago and I've been riding out since, so probably be a little bit easier for me now than it would be for some of the others. Most of the 10 of you are, are, are riding out, Paul's doing a bit of show jumping, but there's a big difference between that, I'd imagine, and race riding. Just put in context the jump up between being off the race course and suddenly being back on it. Ah, of course, it's a huge jump up, um, and I would have always have noticed that coming back from injury, no matter how much work you did at home, you know, those first couple of rides were always, I suppose, catch your breath a bit, more so than whatever you could do, but um, I don't think that's going to matter too much. 90 seconds of the Curra, um, I'm sure we'll, we'll manage to cope. We've got serious competitors involved, so just, just how competitive do you think it's, it's going to be as a race? It's a super lineup, um, you know, from. It's well named. I mean, it's called the Champions Race. They are nine champions, each and every one of the opposition are, are great riders, and it's for a brilliant cause. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, each one of them, you know, Charlie was an idol of mine when I started riding. AP and Paul were as big a competitors as they had, and, you know, Kieran Fallon, Johnny Murta, Ted, Pusey, everyone involved. They're all brilliant riders, so it's great to be going out there with them. Well, as you say, it is a top class lineup. Have you worked out yet who the danger might be? No, <laughs> the danger. I suppose you see the line up and you figure out where we're drawn and what happens. But look, you're talking about guys that are instinctively competitive, and they're never going to lose that. Just in terms of the the, the rides you'll each have as well. Just just explain to us how, how that's going to happen. Have they been decided yet, or how? No, they, they haven't been decided. Um, that'll be an act of good faith that owners, trainers, etc., will you know enter a horse and allow it to run. They're, be all of a similar rating band hopefully between 85 and 95 and carry much the same weight but you know that's an act of fate you need people to almost donate their horse to run in the race for us to ride them. What about the the fact that it's been run at the Curra is there any advantage for the flat lads because you'd imagine the Murthas and Joseph O'Brien's could probably ride the Curra blindfolded maybe less so yourself and the jumps lads? Ah, probably um, it'd be more pace I suppose back to a mile they might be more used to the speed of that but I will figure it out they retired a bit longer than us as well. And look, you mentioned it there, but whatever about the exertions of getting yourself fit and ready for the race, you know, what a brilliant cause. And of course, Pat is central focus of the whole thing. That's what it's all about. Um, I didn't think when I retired only a couple of months ago that, that I would, I didn't ever think I'd ride the charge race, to be honest with you. Um, but when Pat did ask, I've always been very good friends with Pat and, you know, he's fighting a huge battle. Um, and I was, you know, at the time excited at the thoughts of riding with him. Um, with, with what he's going through and I guess even more so now that he's back on treatment again um, it's probably even more important so it's, it's it's for the cause it's not for it's not for me to beat AP or Paul or, or Charlie or to have one more right it's for pancreatic cancer it's for the awareness it's for the research but for me it's for Pat's mother.